response is that it is better to be broke and healthy than to be rich and dead or sick. That is my very first response. I'll say it again. It is better to be broke and healthy than to be rich and dead or sickly. My main response to the government is that he should show leadership in this matter. Leadership is not for the same hearted. In my small position as a parent, if you cannot be tough, if you are not committed to doing what is right, you cannot show leadership even in your own home. Your children will, I, I don't even know the best word to use to describe this. Just imagine a child mm -hmm. who likes to have his way to do the wrong thing. So your child comes and says he wants to leave the tap open to flood the entire house. You know that if that happens, there could be electrocution. There could be a loss of property. And, and, and there could be accidents. People could slip and fall and break their heads and so on and so forth. But the child says, if you don't allow me, I'll throw myself on the floor, I'll roll, I'll scream, I'll shout, throw tantrums. And as a parent, you say, well, because I don't want my child to throw tantrums, I'll allow him to go ahead. That is what I'm hearing from the discussions so far, that because people have concessions, because people have invested in an activity that is threatening to wipe everybody off the face of this country called Ghana, we should allow it to happen. For me, that is not the way to go. They haven't said you should allow it to happen. That don't let those who are doing the right things suffer for the sins of those who are doing the wrong. Is that not fair? Tante, who, who, who is doing the right thing? Excellent. Who is doing the right thing? When you go to the mining site and you talk to people, you, you speak with people, people have concessions. They are not so small scale. There are rules and regulations, how you should do it, how you should reclaim the land. They are not doing that. They release their concessions to people. And they don't do the mining. They give it to uh, illegal miners and, and collect fees from them. This is what we get from the, the field. When you go to the field and talk to the people who are in the pits, the pits don't belong to them. They belong to people who are in positions to buy some funds and positions to buy excavators and so on and so forth. And they leave the land to them. So they have um, permission to mine responsibly. But they check that responsibility probably in order to maximize profit and allow wrongdoing to go on. We are not saying, Lipak and all the other people are not saying, ban mining forever. That's not what we are saying. Right. But we are saying at this rate, let us put a stop and rethink, re-look really at the things we need to you see. We have been taught something between you and I. We've been going this path for at least the past three years. Mm. And things are getting even worse. How can we continue to do the same things and expect different results? Yes, it so that's the point. Prof, you are asking for the same things to be done. Yeah, the, 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 there was a ban. So, there was a ban. It didn't yield any results. And here we are. You be, say we be, should go back no, to the because, ban. There was the deployment of the ban, military and the police. You say we should go back it. to that same thing. Yes. No, the, the ban was an artificial ban. Hmm. It was an artificial ban. Last week, when I spoke to uh, the Super Morning Show crew, the minister was there and he said he promised that within 24 hours, the people we see um, by the roadside in Konongo and Etiwa areas are going to, be, to go off. And I said, yes, they are going to go off. 
so that we cannot see them. But are we sure that we are not going to tell them to go inside where we cannot see them? See, that's, that's what happened. If government is committed, when he says there is a ban, and he truly, the government truly means it, nobody would defy. But is the government telling us that they are unable to govern this nation, that they cannot um, ensure that the right things are done? I okay. don't believe it. All right, Prof. Ubi. They have mm. everything they need. Mm. The, the, the police is there, the military, the, the citizens. We are here, and we are saying ban it. All right. For, you know, no, 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 halt it, maybe ban it, halt it, stop it, and then let's rethink, reconfigure um, the whole situation to see what, so we can do it. All right. If Pro we want to do it, we can do it. Prof, we'll be right back. Thank you very much.